Alright, so um, a few of the guys have been asking how progress is going on our triphene graphene supercapacitor. Um, you'll see a little test sample in there. We've just about got it perfected to about, um, well, as much as we can get it perfected to. Um, to show you the size we are now, that's uh, your general size credit card. So um, you can see that is extremely small and that is actually thinner than the credit card itself. Now we are down to 400 microns thick. The uh, little thin wires you see there are actually thicker than the cell itself. So uh, that's where we're at in comparison to size. So the plastic is just about the size of the credit card itself. Um, we have our little motor here. I have our voltmeter hooked up across it. Um, just your standard. We give it a spin, we get a voltage. If we give it a spin the other way, we get a negative voltage. And um, I did charge the uh, little cap up uh, for about half a minute. Haven't done any um, tests as far as capacity goes, but. Um, you will see we have brought it right down in size since our first one and um, we're going to hook it up and we're going to give it a run to see how it goes We've actually managed to lift the voltage up a little bit. We've got 1.5 volts of little charge too, but um, I only gave it half a minute, so of course it's not going to be fully charged. So remember, you're looking at a cell that is uh, less than one quarter the size of the credit card now. And um, as you can see, I've just glued two bits of plastic together. So that cell is actually sandwiched in between that plastic. So, like I said, we're about 400 microns thick, or 0.4 of a mil, um, which is 0.2 of a mil thinner than that card. We're now at the stage where. Um, We've got our paste fairly thin, we can actually paint it on with a brush. And um, if you had a high pressure spray gun, you could spray it on with a spray gun as well. And um, of course, you need a bit of plastic in the middle in between the two layers uh, for your dielectric. And we've gone right down to just some uh, plastic bags now, so um, it is working extremely well. We've got the uh, ratios for the triphene uh, pretty much well perfected now, so uh, we haven't forgotten about it. I have been starting some other projects, but um, we have been working on this one as well. That being myself and my mate Brian.
So it drives this little 3 volt motor okay. Um, like I said, that's just a, well it's not a small motor, but um, it's out of a little toy that the kids kind of broke. Um, used to run on two 1.5 volt batteries. So not doing too bad at all. Um, we are going to try some of this peel coat, um, which is like a classic paint. Uh, so we're going to try that as the uh, dielectric in a cell instead of our uh, bit of plastic we got in there, and um, see if we can make it a full paint on system. Um, of course, you'll need to steel or conductive surfaces um, that are insulated from each other to put your um, two layers of uh, triphene on so well, I'm guessing clay tile roofs are out but uh, could make um, solar panels quite interesting in uh, being able to store energy um, within the solar panel, solar panel with it, um, within itself during the night without having to have batteries because um, these little cells do hold a lot of energy they don't have a bad capacity at all so uh, yeah once again that's uh, where we're at as far as size goes so um, as you can see extremely small and extremely large capacity about died now. And as you can see a fairly smooth discharge curve as well. The rate of discharge uh, remains pretty much the same.
So if this actually works um, as our uh, dielectric between the two coats, um, this will be quite good. So uh, actually going to be trying this over the weekend and see if we can have a uh, full spray on system. Who knows, you may be able, be able to paint your car this way and um, store the uh, energy free electric car in the shell itself instead of um, having to carry batteries around. So I'm not sure how you would get to a second steel shell around the outside but uh, anyway that is where we're at so definitely not forgotten and definitely not put on the back burner we have indeed been working on this um, I just have some other projects that I'm doing along the way so these are a kind of a uh, night time, quiet time project but um, so far so good we're getting better at it all the time um, starting to perfect the cells so um, getting them very small with a very high capacity just about died. So we've got about a 12 minute run time um, off a 30 second charge at 2.2 volts so uh, not too bad certainly charge up a lot faster than a battery but um, there you go that's uh, what we have that's where we're at and um, like I said I think we're just about um, going as far as we can go in regards to size and capacity um, and now we're just going to try and make it um, a simple thing to apply alright guys I'll uh, get this up and post it for you to have a look at and um, thanks for watching cheers